In this recording, we're going to learn how to update SCVMM 2012 R2 to the update rollup 1. Now, I'm on my VMM server, which happens to be on my domain controller, but this is a lab environment. And we're just going to be using the VMM server and also um, the SQL server, which I have on a Hyper-V machine. So there's my SQL server in that window. And then I have the files for the update over here uh, ready to go. So the first thing that we're going to do to update the machine is go down to the start menu and open a command prompt and run it as an administrator. Once this is open, then we'll change to the directory where I have the files. And I'll run the first update for the server. So I'll type out Now, these will be, the KB names will be different in the final version for the lab here. Um, this is what they happen to be, but they'll be different um, in the final release. So just change those appropriately as your files reflect. So I'm running first the server, typing out the name, VMM server, and 64-bit system, so AMD64, MSP, and running that. And you'll see it do the installation. I do want to close these applications so I don't have to reboot. The installation runs. And then once we're done with that, we will go over to the SQL server because the script that you've seen sitting on screen, it's very important that we run that right after doing the server update. So let's move over to my SQL server and I have the script ready. It's also in the KB article. You can copy it from there. So I'm going to select all the text of the script and once I get it all selected, I will copy it and go back to my SQL Server Management Studio, which I have open, go to the Virtual Manager database and say New Query. And paste the query from the KB article into this window. Once it's in there, I just verify that Virtual Manager DB is the database selected. And then I will go ahead and I can click on Execute. And you can see there it says the command completed successfully. So that's good. We know the database was updated. And I will move back over to my command prompt and I'll run the update for the VMM admin console. You want to make sure you get the numbers right, of course. And the update runs. So that's run successfully. Now, basically, if I launch Virtual Machine Manager, we'll go into the main console. Once I'm in there, um, I want to verify that it updated. So once I go to File and About, I can see down here that the version has changed 
and it is now 3.2.7515 and that is correct so we successfully updated.